Cheers, everybody. It's me, your boy. Happy holidays and welcome back to Minecraft Survival, episode number seven. Thanks for coming by. So last episode, if you missed it, oh man, you missed out on a lot. Last episode? Last, last episode was a movie, like straight up for real, just a movie. In the last episode, we built this Oreo flying in the sky that spawns iron golems. It's pretty much amazing because look at this right here the iron right there the iron right there and also the iron down here this is an amazing point that point that i was at in the last episode the low point it's gone despicable the disgrace to be honest right now you're essentially in the presence of like a billionaire now like like literally a billionaire er but like like in a good way if that's possible check this out right here i improved the mountain it actually makes sense now i finally figured it out in between episodes i went down to the lake got a little bit more food got some deep slate and also built this right here i feel like this is like the most logical way to do this now it's easy to get up and down all i have to do is jump up this hill a little bit not that big of a deal we'll fix it later however last episode that iron farm free and easy iron that means something is now officially overdue the torches that are all over the place, uh, it is really, truly a disgrace. Look at this. Remove that. Replace this right uh, right here. So much better. And speechless. Wow. Truly in shock. I never thought this boat could look so good. A simple change like that. Brighter than ever. Better looking than ever. I mean, it still needs a little bit more on the boat, but that's pretty good. The lanterns are definitely a nice addition. So, food. Food is kind of a recurring issue inside of this world, and it's a little overdue that it gets fixed. Today's episode, we're fixing the food situation forever. Correction, we're fixing the food situation for now. That's definitely a way better way to put it. So in the last episode, we spent a little bit of time over here at this village. Apparently, the villagers absolutely hate this village. I mean, so much that they wanted to literally leave the village and go up the mountain. They were, like, so willing to just leave this place. And that's, like, a really good sign. It completely clears my conscience uh, when it comes to actually taking things from this village. Not a problem at all. The villagers don't actually like it. Uh, so this village, I was kind of really hoping that somewhere inside of this village uh, would be, like, plants. Like, you know, like, crops for, for food. I mean, it's a village. After all, they, they've got to grow food somewhere here, right? Uh, uh oh. <laughs> oh no, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I mean, I have a backup plan, but don't do this to me, villagers. You have to have potatoes somewhere here, right? Don't do this to me. I can't believe this. They're actually going to do it to me. I really can't believe this at all. Not a single planting box in this entire village. How do these villagers even survive? No wonder the villagers hate it here. There's not a single bit of food inside of this village. Uh, <laughs> is that normal? Do villagers uh, really usually just not have food? All right, well, small problem. That's going to change the plans a little bit. Looking around really quick, it doesn't look like exactly we have any other villages over here, too. That's uh, less than ideal for sure. We're looking for potatoes. Potatoes, I figured, would be a good move. Uh, but I guess we're going to have to settle. I hate settling. It's below us, truly. But we don't have an option, really. Carrots it is. That's interesting. I feel like every single village that I've ever found has always had a food thing inside of it. I mean, not necessarily always potatoes, but like, at least a food thing. Without a food thing, how do those villagers even survive? I, I mean, I guess we'll never know. Uh, but hey, speaking of food, did you hear? It's Destroy Like December. That means you should leave a like on this video. It really helps me out, and it encourages me to make more episodes. So no potatoes right off the bat, which makes me sadder than words can even describe. But there is one good thing. Dark oak wood. For today's build, we're going to need a lot of birch wood. I, th I think I have some of that back over at the ship. And we're going to need dark oak wood. It's time to collect the very first dark oak wood of the world. Look at this right here. This is a great moment. So to be completely real with you, I was really, really banking on potatoes from that village. Potatoes were my dream food. I was imagining a potato farm. Set one up today. Bake the potatoes. It's a great food. We'll be good for a little while. That's kind of an issue. For sure. Thankfully, we have a carrot that a zombie dropped while we were caving. So we can work with that. I'm considering maybe hunting zombies at nighttime for a potato. If I could just get like literally one, that would be amazing. Completely game changing. I don't think I've seen a single other village inside of this world quite yet, which is going to leave us with no option. Carrots? We will have to deal with carrots. And so, with our dark oak logs, our saplings, and a whole lot of emptiness and sadness in hand, it was time to go back to the boat. I've never seen the boat from this angle. Looks kind of cool. Well, I make my way back up the mountain, though. The art of the day. Look at this masterpiece right here. I'm pretty sure that I've never seen this before, but it does say repo, so uh, sorry about missing it before. It's amazing looking. I don't think I've ever seen so much fan art before, and I love it. It makes me feel so good, and also, consistently, I'm looking like top tier here. Like, it looks so good. I really miss the axolotl skin. Maybe I should bring it back. 
Last episode, I found a hill. That hill was precisely like right over there. From the boat, I was looking around at the land, and that hill is almost kind of like, it kind of looks like an island, right? Like, we have that mound of land right there. I, I mean, obviously, it's connected on both sides, but like, just where the grass is. It kind of looks like the perfect spot for a build. I think that's what we're going to do. Right on top of that hill in the middle, a building all the way around the building, like every single side, a gigantic potato field filled with carrots. A gigantic potato field filled with filled with carrots. Looking at the bright side of things, though, uh, I'm glad that I actually picked up this carrot. <laughs> I, I almost left it behind inside of that cave because, I mean, it's a carrot. I, I didn't really want a carrot. So this heaping large landmass of land, this is exactly the land that I was looking at from the boat. I'm thinking right on top of this hill, a building, and all around the hill, maybe like pretty much out to like this area right here, crops planted all over the place. I've got a pretty simple plan. When I need to, I come down here and I harvest the crops. When I don't need to, I don't come down here and harvest the crops. I let the crops grow. From the distance, I think the crops and the building are going to look really, really good. Hopefully, if I can pull it off. For this build, I think I'm going to need to kick things off with a little bit of digging. The land is way too hilly right now. Impossible to work with. Not going to be good at all. And well, 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 would you take a look at this? A cave right here. Um, it's very small. So <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't see it and cover it up. I don't want to go down there. You know what? I take it back. I think I'm absolutely ruining the land. I, I don't like it already. I'm going to raise the land back up. I think the house is going to be pretty small and it could sit right here. This land right here, though. Oh, not a chance. You're in my way. You're making me angry. You have to go. What cave? There was never a cave here. I don't know what you're talking about. I went inside of the cave that may exist, and of course, I may have fully lit that cave up too. If there was a cave, which there wasn't. The cave doesn't actually exist here. There was no cave the entire time, so problem solved. Yep, uh, exactly. So the building, I'm thinking maybe something small like this. Uh, that goes down a little bit of a ways, and we have another dark oak log right there. Then it goes down a little bit more of a ways to like right here, and then it turns. So in this world, we never really got to build a starter house. Instead, we built a starter ship. I have a grand total of zero regrets about that at all. I really like the ship. I'm super happy with how it turned out, and it's fun. It's cool. The ship is also like the biggest starter house that I've ever built, and in my opinion, my best starter house that I've ever built. I don't regret it. However, I do kind of miss that starter house vibe. Like building starter houses uh, is something that I really, really like. Like the small buildings, the simple buildings, I like it. I think this is the perfect opportunity for a small, simple, starter house looking building. Cheers, brother. I think it's a pretty quality idea, except here's the thing. We take the starter house and give it steroids, like a pretty decent amount of steroids. Okay, this is kind of crazy. I chopped down like uh, two dark oak trees and I think I had enough dark oak wood, like essentially for, for the building. That's not bad. Oh yeah, and I, I almost forgot, uh, considering the fact that I'm starting with literally one carrot and I'm going to need like 10 or more stacks easily. Uh, planting the carrot would probably be a pretty good idea right now. So, carrot. You're a very important carrot. You plant right there and you live and you grow. Eventually, every single carrot that we consume all comes from you. You're a strong carrot. So while I wait for those trees to grow, let's talk about the land a little bit. Uh, so from up on the ship, it looks like this land is a little bit of a hill. However, the hill kind of flattens out oddly right in this area, which means I, I don't think I want to use this land. Maybe we build something else right there. Maybe we just don't do anything with it. I don't think I want to use it. I want to try and stick on the hill. That also means the stone. The stone stands out a lot. We're not going to use the stone. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is create a fence line going along this hill right here. Maybe spruce logs in there, oak fences or something. Maybe spruce fences, I'm not too sure. I'm really not thinking about this fence line too much because I don't have to. We can make it work. We'll fill land in where we have to. It's really just going to be a simple fence connected by these posts. Without the posts, I think the fence would look really, really lazy. With the posts, it looks like the most detailed thing in the world. I'm telling you, it's going to be basically amazing. Now, uh, over here, I, I would uh, decimate this entire land right here, but... That's a lot of stone. There's going to be a lot of digging, so for now, what I'm thinking, we leave it alone. Maybe one day I could see myself coming in here with TNT blowing away through this, or maybe one day I, I make a path, and I set something up over there, too. Like a lighthouse? Oh, man. Oh, man, have I told you? I'm great at building lighthouses. <laughs> maybe I'll build a lighthouse out here. The plan is to keep the fence line around this thing that I'm going to continue to call an island, even though it's not an island, pretty even. We keep the fence line even all the way over until we get to the front of the island. Then I walk it up the hill and then leave it open in the middle. We have a path cutting through all of the plants that I plant. It's good. The vibes are great over there because of the plants. Plants release great energy. They purify the air. They can improve your mood. So it'll be pretty nice. 
You know, I just realized uh, two things, though. Uh, over here, I have food. Uh, man, I was hoping maybe a potato that I completely forgot about. No potato, but bone meal, so we could speed the carrot up. And I have one of the least sizable fields of birch trees planted that I've ever seen over here. Completely forgot about these trees. I planted them. Don't think I ever really cut them down. Maybe, like, once. Uh, these trees. Yeah, they're coming with me. Aha, uh -huh, look at how scenic this is gonna be. If I say so myself, that is, like, literally the perfect spot for a house. The hill, like, perfectly curves up for it. That's gonna be great looking, and with a fence sign all along there, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, definitely, absolutely. I think the fence line should 100% be oak wood. I might regret that later, it's gonna make it really, really expensive, but... Also, I'm gonna need more spruce wood, so might as well take care of that right now, too. So here we go, carrot, fully grown. Nice and easy, just like that. Way quicker. And wow, actually, five carrots. I, I feel like that's kind of like an absurd amount from one carrot. That's not too bad. So I have a little bit more bone meal. Might as well use it up. I mean, if we can speed up the start of this thing, that's probably pretty good, right? I never thought I would ever say this, but the deep slate on this build, I actually don't like it. Uh, but it's nothing against the deep slate. Like, the deep slate is nice, and we're gonna use deep slate, but instead of deep slate, I think deep slate. This deep slate is gonna look so much better. I think that'll be cool. Now, on the rest of the build, the birch wood. We're gonna put birch wood on the build, and yep, that's right. We're gonna leave it just like that, exactly like that texture. It's an impeccable, perfect texture on the build like this from a distance. It's gonna look amazing. Uh, just kidding. I'm not, I'm not crazy. We're going to strip this wood. I, I think it's going to look pretty good. The dark oak wood is going to be a nice contrast. And then maybe down here we do something fancy with the logs and uh, turn it out. Like, look at that. That's a crazy pattern. We do that on every single section. Lots of windows on the build. That'll be nice. And it's two stories, except that's the thing. It's actually one story. This is where the birch wood comes in. This is where I need, like, a lot of birch logs. Like, probably way more than I have right now, which, I mean, it's fine. I'll plant more birch trees and just get to it. I'm gonna have to wait, like, a lot of time anyways to let the, the plants grow. So it's fine. I have a lot of time today. Deep Slate, really, I, I take it back. I was too cruel, mean, and unjust to you. Deep Slate is actually great. We're gonna use Deep Slate on the build up on the top instead. I think this is gonna look way better as a roof. It kind of looks like shingles anyways, right? So, like, we'll use Deep Slate up here. Now, the roof. We're gonna make it really, really steep. I think that'll look pretty cool. We'll have it go up like this to an invisible block. It's gonna be sweet. Has that been happening to anyone else in 1.18? Or is that, like, an Optifine thing or, or what? It, it's pretty strange. This jumping today. Wow. Ah, uh, this is some top tier jumping. I don't think I've ever jumped so good before. The accuracy of these jumps, it's over 100. And there we go, that's the start of the roof. So far, so average. I mean, it's gonna be a nice looking roof. The next part is where it gets interesting. So, didn't finish the birch logs, completely ran out of them. We're gonna have to imagine a window sitting right in here. What I'd like to try and do here is curve the roof uh, over the window. I think that'll look nice. But then also, curve the roof uh, over the roof, if that makes sense. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. The roof, it curves over the roof. So the roof slopes down on the back, it goes up towards the middle. And then the same thing, it'll slope down on the front, go up towards the middle. I think it'll look really, really good, especially from a distance, which, speaking of a distance, check that out. That looks pretty cool. Uh-oh, small problem. I built the roof one block too high up, which means I have to shift everything down one block otherwise the top floor is taller than the lower floor and i think it's gonna make the build look like really really strange especially from a distance so uh oh <laughs> that's gonna be a lot of digging i mean i guess on the bright side it's more time for the carrots to grow uh, i spread them a little bit more but uh oh whoops i mean the shape is looking really cool though <laughs> i i'm really really happy with how the shape of the build is actually turning out which i i guess is a good sign i mean maybe this is just like the mock-up version of the build like i i built it intentionally wrong just to make sure uh, the the roof was gonna look good which yep definitely does so now i can actually just take it down and build the normal version mm -hmm. uh this is exactly what i meant to do all along the entire time that's right You know, this is me definitely getting desperate here, but could I just stay up at nighttime to, to find potatoes? I, I really had my mind set on potatoes. Like, those were the goal all along. Potatoes, you cook them into baked potatoes. Like, that is so good. Like, that's such a good early game food. Uh, could I just find some potatoes, please? Like, one zombie, by chance, drops a single potato. That's literally all that I need. Then I can take the carrots, throw them in the fire. Uh, not, not actually. They could be useful later. But, like, right now, carrots, like, like trash. I, I don't really want carrots. I want potatoes. Where are the potatoes? Also, maybe I should put like two cows in a pen so I could get going on leather. That might be a smart idea too. Potato. 
Potato. Potato. Potato. Potato. Cool armor. Potato. 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 You've got to have one. You've got to have a potato. Whoops. Potato. Well, unfortunately, I think it is safe to say no potato. Unless... Yeah, no. A little progress update for you. Here I am in my backyard chopping trees and the build. From over here, look at this thing. As the sun rises right there, the shaping of the roof, completely different. It arches, it looks so nice. So that's a cool view, but it's also a view that we probably won't end up seeing very much. The view that I'm way more interested in is, of course, going to be the view from the boat. How does it look? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely looks. That's a view for sure. That's really cool. I finished the fencing around there, added boulders to the field. I've been spreading the crops. It's a very, very slow process. But yeah, that's a view. That That's definitely 100% of you. I like it. But why did I come back so soon if I haven't finished the work? Am I slacking? Well, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, check that out. <laughs> this is so cool looking. I'm back so soon to talk about what's next. So there are a few more final touches that I need to put on the build. And then after that, it's time to just grow the crops. I'm pretty happy with the area that I've created around here. The boulders up close. I added a couple small ponds in here just for aesthetics. I got the fence line in all the way around the island. But what's next, what's next? So after I put a few more final touches on the build, copper on the front, I think that'll look cool. Uh, maybe some glass panes in there for sure. After that, it's really all up to the carrots. The carrots have to grow. What I plan on doing today is waiting around for a long time in between these two cuts and basically uh, doing this. I go over to the carrots. I carefully harvest the ones that are ready to go. So like I walk through here, get uh, as many carrots as I can. Then I go over and, and I plant them. I've been trying to space them out. I'm pretty sure they grow a little bit faster like that. So yeah, I space them out in rows like this. I spread the water when I need to spread the water and basically repeat the process over and over and over again. In between this cut and the next cut, time. There's going to be a lot of time. My plan is to actually edit the part of the episode that you've already seen so far come back and then hopefully a lot of the stuff is ready to go editing this episode is going to take a little bit of time hopefully by the time i'm almost done with it the carrots have made like a lot of really really good progress the goal is a full field today i'm, I'm aiming for a fully finished field if i don't finish it today the odds of me ever finishing it sharply decrease for sure however it's a big field i didn't realize how big this island area uh, actually is it takes up like a lot of space for sure basically i'm gonna try and get as much done as possible i have unfortunately given up all hope entirely for any potatoes in this episode it would be really nice like one of the best things to happen of all time but i just don't think it's a likelihood Oh yeah, and I brought some lightning rods. Hopefully I put one right there. And I don't know, maybe one somewhere in the middle of this field, like like right there. That feels like a good spot. Hopefully these two lightning rods will keep the entire house safe. <laughs> I really hope. Oh yes, and you're probably wondering about the interior of the house. What's happening with the interior? So with the inside of the house, this is what I did. An oak floor in there, very, very simple. Just the essentials in here, a red bed too. Inside of this building, it's really not much. Maybe I'll add to it, maybe I won't. Only time will tell, really. It's a mystery. Well, it's been a long ride today, for sure. Definitely a very long ride. Just as I'm about to finish off the fish that stinks and reeks terribly, but has carried me through everything up until this point, I'm back. I'm back again. So clearly, take a look at the field. It's not fully finished harvesting, but I think right now, based off of what is planted, I might be able to actually fully finish planting this field. So this has gone really, really quickly, actually, like way faster than I would have thought. Carrots, I, I mean, I guess they just multiply like crazy when I harvest them. This whole side of the farm is fully planted right now. I took the farm down to this spot right here, and then what I tried to do to make it look natural is like uh, rough up the border. Maybe I'll come back later and plant more stuff in here, 
or maybe I'll come back in here and plant some really tall trees. I also added this to the area. Now the house. Uh, look at the copper on the back of this thing. It has been aging. I think the front is still normal, which is good. But yeah, the back is aged. And now the side of the build, I added more details. Look at the trap doors. Look at the dark oak. Look at the spruce. Oh my gosh. Are those spruce trap doors? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're spruce trap doors, all right. Overall, I am like actually like really really happy with how the build turned out. I I just like the look of it. I like the round roof. I, I like the details on it, and I can't wait to see it from the ship. I haven't seen it from the ship, and I'm not going to see it from the ship until this field is fully planted. Now I've realized that carrots are really bad. <laughs> uh, I think the fish was refilling maybe like two and a half hunger hunches. Uh, the carrots refill like one and a half, so that's going to be a thing. I, I'm going to have to work around that, or I'm going to have to make a different farm or something really soon. But it's fine. We have a lot of carrots. And so here we are. The end of the episode and also the final plants. So I'd like to remind you that down below this video is a like button. If you enjoy the episode, consider dropping a like. It helps the videos out huge time. Also subscribe. I post episodes like this all the time. I'm pretty sure the field is now fully planted. Inside of my inventory is <laughs> a lot of food. We're not going to run out anytime soon. Only the biggest of thank yous to my patrons. Bill Geek, A. Johnson 6494, and Medical Boomstick. So that's it, but of course, there is one final thing that we need to do before the end of the episode, and that is the view. The view of this build, here it is, from up here. Oh look, the copper on the front aged. Here's the build. I think it turned out pretty nicely. Thank you all for watching, it's been me, your boy. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.